Hi and welcome to the channel The Vaping Piper. I hope you're all doing well. So what is this video all about? Um, in the last recording we discussed um, how to start with your pipe smoking journey. Um, the basic uh, starter kit. We went through it all. We spoke about the pleasures of smoking a pipe. So now we'll go into the more practical um, section of pipe smoking. So you've got your pipe, um, you've got your blend, either you used the, one of the four blends they gave you as a sampler or you chose your own blend and we're going to talk about what do I recommend to start off with. Um, so uh, what we're going to do in this video, well um, we're going to take the pipe, the basic pipe that was in the starter kit we're going to pack it the right way with tobacco. I'm going to talk about that tobacco as well. And then we would light it and smoke it. And after that, um, we will clean it. So that is basically the steps you need um, to enjoy your first pipe smoke. Right? Well, obviously, we're going to talk about more about that as well. So what we're going to do now, uh, this video might take a bit longer because I want to pack in as much information as I can in this section. So like this, you have all the info, more or less. Obviously, we're going to touch it in further videos and there's so much to talk about. But to give you the real, the basics, you know, to pack a pipe, to light a pipe, to smoke a pipe, to clean a pipe. Yeah, that's what we're going to come focus in this video. And uh, yeah, so let's go down to the table, pack this pipe, and I really pre-recorded everything and recording now, so hopefully in the edit it all works seemingly. So let's go now and pack the pipe, then we'll go light it, smoke it in my garden, and then we'll come back here and we'll clean it and we'll talk about it a bit more, right? So let's go to pack the pipe. So in this section, uh, we will go through the various steps you need. F very simple, just, just it's, well, it has to be done right. Um, you smoke your pipe, you want to enjoy it fully, and that's what we're going to do now. Right, so we've got our basic pipe. Um, yeah, now it doesn't make a difference which pipe you've got, if it's a briar pipe or if it's a meerschaum pipe. Um, the packing of the pipe is the same. And there's a few things I would like to show you uh, that is really relevant to a briar pipe and that is the carbon cake. The carbon cake is there to protect your bowl from overheating, also it keeps the bowl cool. Now um, carbon cake is a natural process that happens without much um, you don't need to do anything about it. It's just a natural phenomenon that the ashes sort of stick to the bowl of the pipe and uh, over time harden and build up a layer, a thicker layer, thicker layer, and that protects your bowl. So this one here is starting already to get a nice carbon cake. I don't know if you can see it properly inside the bowl. Um, so in order to aid this carbon cake uh, there is a very simple method to do honey um, you take any honey pure clear honey and i wouldn't do it because this pipe is already um, broken in so you just dip in your finger in the honey and just you know with your finger just go around the whole bowl um, and cover it with a thin layer of honey that is it now this honey uh, is obviously sticky so what it's going to do is it's going to trap um, those ashes to the bowl uh, walls and eventually will build the cum cake a bit faster that's all uh, is not much more to do. Some people um, use vodka or high grain uh, alcohol with the honey, but mm, I don't. Uh, I think the honey is good enough. 
and that would uh, I spoke to quite a lot of very experienced pipe smokers and that's what they use simple pure honey to aid your carbon cake now besides the fact that most new pipes these days are already blasted with some ash and you'll see like a dark um, dark wall inside your bowl but I had a custom made pipe done and it is it was clear you can see the briar complete um, no, no blast at all then it's even more important to use the honey to aid the carbon cake now you you chose your tobacco um, we're gonna go through which tobacco I, I recommend and really I do recommend um, this one here Peterson early morning pipe this is a mild English mixture. This is a perfect starting uh, blend. And as well, um, there is a very similar um, the Chariton First Bowl a blend for early in the day. Th this is a very nice blend as well. We're going to review them all. But for this uh, demonstration, I'm using Peterson Early Morning. Now, this is a sealed uh, bowl, uh, uh, sorry, tin. Yeah and um yeah you can read what it says here mellow and delicately flavored smoking blend with oriental a tobacco and lighted red virginia first pressed and then gently roasted with parts of latakia medium cut english mixture this is one of my favorites yeah um now i've got it in the jar to keep it fresh this is a jason um jason jars mason jar sorry um with a sealed oh, we're gonna talk about that i don't want to go too much into it but this is um yeah sort of vacuum and it keeps the tobacco fresh for years and it will mature over time now when you take out the tobacco from the jar or from the tin it's gonna be a bit moist now so English mixtures or anything that's not aromatic, you want to allow a bit to dry out. Um, moist tobacco is not advisable to smoke straight away because, first of all, you're going to have a job of keeping it lit. Second, it causes hot smoke, and that hot smoke can cause tongue bite. Tongue bite is a sensation that gives you a burning in your tongue, especially when you talk about uh, aromatics that the sugar contents is high um, of Virginia's or Virginia's of Perique oh yeah you don't want to smoke those hot especially with a short uh, pipe one of the best ways to smoke those blends is with a long stem or slowly yeah we'll talk about that as well anyway so you want to keep it uh, to dry out a bit the best way is so if you give it a pinch and it doesn't fall apart straight away uh, into a loose, you know, so that is the right consistency of moisture. Now, aromatics, you want to leave out for a bit longer, obviously, because they're moist because of the topping. But since this is a really um, an English mixture, so there's not so much um, uh, moisture in here. So you leave it 15, 20 minutes. That is it. Now, to pack the pipe, yeah, you can just put it in, just press it down and smoke it. Yeah, life's too short. <laughs> you don't have to go through loopholes to get your first tobacco. But to be honest, your first um, experience, you want to be to make it right. It doesn't take, it takes longer, it just takes seconds, just the right method. So in order to remember, uh, there is um, baby bear, mama bear, papa bear. So the first third layer of your bowl needs to be packed in loose the a baby bear in order for the air like if you you uh, do a barbecue uh, a fire a campfire you don't just put the wood and burn it you make a pyramid yeah more air in the base going upwards that's the exact same idea so you keep it now here you've got your tapper but you can use your finger the Tamp the tapper is really when the tobacco is already lit uh, you don't want to burn your finger right but in this case you can use your finger and you feel it 
sort of loosely, uh, yeah, just the first third loose, not too loose, but loose. Okay, then we go to Mama Bear. So you pack the second third and you give it a bit more of a firm um, pressing down, right? And then you do your third one, the final one, and that you press a bit even harder. That is the Papa Bear. Right, and then just give it a draw. Now this is filtered, uh, as we've seen in the previous video. And this pipe, this is the starter kit pipe. Um, but nevertheless, um, you check the airflow and this is perfect consistency. Now, if you don't have a filter, you might have to pack it just a touch more. Um, yeah. Now, then what you do is you take your thumb and you just give it a turn in one direction. So that sort of gives the tobacco uh, its body. Right. This I'll put back in the bowl and we don't want to waste it okay so um next what we're going to talk about is um, i'll see you in the garden and we'll talk about um how to light the pipe and so yeah some a few more tips okay um see you in a minute right so um you packed your pipe now you're ready to light it yeah first time oh very exciting right okay so um, I've got my um, early morning pipe from Peterson in here now what you need is first is a lighter now you could use a match we could use a lighter but do not use a cigar lighter some do very more experienced you don't want to burn the rims of the bowl so you don't want a torch lighter right? you want a soft flame lighter and this you can get on Amazon I think I'm gonna review this one or maybe not we'll see this is this is the clipper um, what does it say clipper soft you go on Amazon um, these are normally sort of for the chef it's called a candle lighter or chef lighter. Um, it's perfect for lighting a pipe. Um, so you need your tapper, yeah, and you need your lighter. You need your pipe. So in this case, we're using this one, and you need your tobacco. We're going to talk about which tobacco I recommend. Um, this is one of them. Um, this is one of them, but let's not go away from the subject. Let's talk about now the basics on how to enjoy your first bowl. So we packed it the right way. Now what you need to do is light it. Now when you light it, there is two methods. You light it first to sort of get the flame on the top layer of the tobacco, to char the top of the layer of the bowl and then tap it down and then do a second light it's like a campfire you know something that was burnt once before will always burn better the second time so that's a similar idea behind it so let's give it a go and you light it in circular motions while you're inhaling yep the smoke so the air starts circling within the bowl and helps you to light it properly See? So I char the top layer of the leaf. Make sure you do the whole um, bowl. Ooh, delicious flavors. Oh, yeah, nice. So what you do now is you tap it down to get the burning leaf downwards into the bowl 
Yeah, that was the false light. Now, what they call is the true light. Lovely. Now, the true light doesn't mean that it's going to stay lit now for the whole duration of your smoke. Sometimes yes, but a lot of times not. So that's why you've got a lighter, you relight it. It's not a cigarette that's got a burning chemical in it to keep it burning. And uh, it's even, well, a cigar burns even more evenly than a pipe you know, many times, but if you need to light it, you light it. Again, no big deal. Like I have to do now, because I'm talking while I'm smoking. So you tap it down again. Okay, that's why you need a tapper, not to use your index finger. It takes seconds as soon as your tobacco is lit, it takes seconds then to relight. Now, it's properly lit. As you go down the bowl, always tap down in order to get the burning tobacco into the fresh leaf below it. Because after a while, the ash builds up on the top and you need to get that flame down, right? You don't want to smoke ash. So you lower it and lower it. So you tap it down. Yep, and that aids the bowl to burn evenly and most enjoyable. So it's so simple. You've got to do it, that's it. Easy enough. Now, how to smoke a pipe? Um, there is a breathing method. Um, that I watched people do it and read about it. Life is short. It's, well, the way it works is you inhale a bit into your mouth and then you exhale through the bowl again three times. The third time you keep the smoke in your mouth. So let me show you. What is the aid for this? What is the purpose? It's to slow you down, basically. Pipe smoking is, as I said in the previous review, is one of the most relaxing and enjoyable um, time out moments of your, uh, in, in your morning, in your day. So simply to slow you down, if you puff on it like you do in a cigarette or even in a cigar, you can overheat the bowl and the smoke would lose its flavors. And what you're gonna taste is hot smoke. You wouldn't really taste all the, from this, this the Virginia, the Latakia. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't taste those um, nuances in the tobacco. This needs time. You can't talk while you smoke really because, but that's what I said before, you just relight it. So you take your time, relax, don't, you know, rush it. Then you can fully enjoy. In the beginning, you might taste just smoke. Yeah. But with the smoke, you will start noticing all sorts of notes and all sorts of, oh, what is that? Woodiness, spiciness, sweetness, fruitiness. Yeah, all these type of flavors that it will come to your, in your palate with time.
English mixtures are one of the most um, enjoyable blends for me. I do enjoy aromatics on occasion, definitely not in the morning, but really I enjoy English mixtures, you know, the sweet Virginia with the spicy oriental, with, the, you know, that, um, um, the Latakia, that woody, spicy, smoky, well, obviously smoking is the smoke, but Um, yeah, but Latakia gives it body, it gives it like sort of a, uh, it's quite a strong blend, so normally it's very light in the background, but it gives you that campfire smokiness and a bit of spice. The Oriental gives you a different type of spice, the Virginia gives you sweetness. Uh, oh, it's so much to explore with pipe tobacco, so much. I'm going to have to put you on hold for one second, sorry. Sorry about that. Wife was calling. Anyway, so, um, yeah, one more thing. You need to drink while you smoke. Um, when you smoke a pipe um, and your mouth is dry, you wouldn't taste the flavors properly. It's very similar in the vaping as well. You need to drink while you vape. And, and the same idea is when you smoke a pipe, always keep your mouth moist. Yeah. As it is now first thing in the morning here, my most favorite time, um, my coffee. Yep, gone out, so relight it now. And when you come to a certain stage where there is ash already on the top of the bowl, uh, yeah, so what you do is you use this spike <coughs> and loosen the ash. Now, don't get rid of the ash. I would, but for you, if beginning, don't get rid of it. Put it in a dish and I'll tell you soon what to do with it. Okay, so then what we do is we expose uh, the unburnt leaf, right? Then you tap it down again, make sure it's all tapped down, and give it a relight. You see how quick this will relight. Hmm? Seconds, because it's already lit up. It's already, you know, been lit up before. Take your time. Don't huff and puff on it. Slowly, small draws. Taste it like it tastes good wine. Sip it. I'm rushing it because I'm, I don't want the recording to take too long. But if I wasn't recording, I'll give you. I'll show you in a minute how I do it. That's the way. My bowl is cool because I've got a bit of a calm cake. And if your pipe is brand new yet, even with the honey that I showed you, you do let it be, let it go out, cool it down, then relight it. You don't have to finish the bowl in one sitting. Give it a few minutes to cool down. You don't want that hot smoke that causes moisture, and, it, and then you'll hear this gurgling because it accumulates in the bottom of the bowl can cause your tongue heat and you wouldn't taste the flavors. If you want to use the breathing method, use it. I don't uh, have time for that. Now if you see that um, it's turning already a bit, you know, uh, the smoke too, it's a bit, you know, not as it's properly done, just give it a tap down and relight. Just a touch. Lovely. Love.
lovely. And just enjoy the smoke. That is it. Just enjoy the smoke. That is what it's all about. Yeah, people can talk to you for hours about this. Just enjoy. Just do it the right way. There's a few steps to do. That's it. Yep, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to stop this recording and when I'll be in the office, I'll finish off this section because there's a few more things to talk about. So, um, I'll see you later in the office, but for you, it'll be just one second. Right, so back in the office. Um, yeah, so we went through the um, packing of the pipe and lighting the pipe and smoking the pipe. Now, normally when you smoke the pipe, um, you don't, well, you take your time. I was talking and so I had to relight it a few times. Now, it's no big deal um, to relight the pipe as part and parcel of smoking a pipe. But if you pack it the right way, as we discussed, um, you know, lighter, not pack down on the first, third and the second a bit firmer and firmer still on the top um, and you tap it down as you smoke so the progression of the burning uh, tobacco leaf is going to go the right way downwards towards the bottom of the bowl. Now I recommend as well um, to build up your carbon cake is to smoke the bowl from top to bottom even if it takes you a while longer. Uh, if you had enough after the half bowl, leave it. Then when you come back, just with that spike, just give it a loosen up a bit, tap it down, relight it, and go down further until you come to the bottom of the bowl. So the carbon cake will build um, evenly from the top to bottom. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when after you finished your smoke, that you enjoyed very much, I hope. And one of the secrets to enjoy your smoke that we spoke about it as well earlier is to smoke it slowly. Pipe smoking cannot be rushed. It has to be done in a slow pace and that is the breathing method that some use to slow you down, to teach you the discipline not to huff and puff on it. Of course, there is some who do. Um, those are most probably very seasoned pipe smokers who already um, got costume to the, to the smoke. They don't get so often tongue bite. But nevertheless, you still heat up the bowl too fast, you would, the smoke will become bitter and not enjoyable. And uh, yeah, so the smoking slow is for you to enjoy those delicious flavors of the tobacco that you should enjoy. Otherwise, you would not enjoy pipe smoking. Um, and if you do um, slow down, this will also relax you. Um, it will become something that you look forward to, um, that pipe smoking sessions. And also, you'll taste those delicious tobacco leaf each leaf has got a different uh, flavor, a different nuance, a different note. Um, it is the most pleasurable experience um, when you do it right. It's no big deal. Just slow down. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the pipe is done. Well, finished smoking. Um, now what do you do? Well, let's go and clean it now. And I'll show you a few more tricks what to do with the ash. The ash is useful for a few things, right? See you down below on the, on the table. Right, so now we've got our pipe. Um, I especially didn't empty it. I put it in a bag and carried it with me all the way from my garden to the office. Um, as you can see, it is quite low down and full of ash. So, um, there is two usage for this ash. First of all, um, you take your tool and you use the spike to loosen the ash. Now, this is if this is a new pipe and you want to aid the carbon cake, so what you do is you put your finger on top of this bowl 
and just give it a good shake. What that does is it spreads the ash along the walls of the bowl and it will aid it towards um, a carbon cake. Yeah, so that's one usage for the ash. Don't throw it quick, so, so quickly. Just give it a good mix in the bowl uh, and um, yeah, that will aid your carbon cake. Now, after you emptied out the ash, so let's do that. Now, you might see some fresh leaf tobacco in here because I was a bit rushing this morning. Um, now, you use both tools. This you do to loosen the leaf and this you uh, the shovel you use to see. There is a few uh, unburnt leaf. Uh, not too bad, actually, from a whole bowl. Um, and you loosen everything and now this bowl is fairly clean right so what you do is now is as follows um, if this is a new pipe you don't want really to disturb the bowl okay if this is already in my stage um, I can use a pipe uh, cleaner to just give it a bit of a clean but I will treat this as a new pipe um, because most probably if you're watching this well uh, you know but if you're a new pipe smoker and you got a new pipe so that's what you do so you don't um, really disturb the bowl because you just shook in the, those ashes to stick to the bowl to the walls of the bowl you want to build a carbon cake to keep the pipe cool and protect the wood um, but you need to clean um, the rest of the tank so what we do is like this the rest of the um, pipe so what we do is um, you must wait for the bowl to cool before you take off the stem because otherwise you are loosening the connection between them if it's too hot so you wait till it's cool to the hand and then you always turn it um, you don't pull it out you know you turn it off like this now, if you've got a filter, um, a six millimeter or nine millimeter, you could use it once or twice, but after the third time it becomes um, yuck and you just throw it in the bin. Um, yeah, you can buy fairly cheap today filters, so that's no problem. You can change them as often as you want. If you don't have a filter, so um, you'll clean the same method I'm gonna show you now. This one, as you know, is got already sort of like a metal filter. So this needs to be clean. So you run this on the tap of water. Um, I brought with me a damp um, um, rug because I haven't got here running water in this section, but just give it a good wipe off and you can see straight away. Uh, and this is your channel for the air so you want to make sure you clean that as well and this is clean right so now you've got um, the stem and the bowl and the shank so what you do is um, you take one of these pipe cleaners um, this I think I got on Amazon actually they're very cheap yeah I'm not sure where it's, yeah it's from Amazon yeah I think so okay so what you do is you take this uh, first of all give this a, just a little rub just to get off any loose uh, bits and bobs and you just stick it in and as you can see it's uh, going into the bowl all the way I wonder if you can see it and you just give it a good clean and look at that to you right so uh, now he can fold this and stick it in here and just turn it around and clean everything out properly yeah so you do this a few times now because my bowl has already got a carbon kick in it I normally tend to do what I'm doing now um, and just get rid of all the loose bits you can see that is coming out and just look at this but this is a normal thing this is from the ash and the burning tobacco 
Um, but yeah, but in the beginning, I don't recommend to do that. Just with a finger, you just go like that with this um, shovel or whatever you call this one. Um, just get rid of it and that's it. The main thing is it should be dry. But here you need to clean because here the moisture gathers. Um, and you don't want the moisture to, to remain in the bowl or the bottom of the shank because that might ruin the... gives you a bad taste afterwards for the next smoke. Um, yeah, so I think this is basically clean. Uh, this is what I'm showing you now is the daily clean. There is a more thorough clean and that we're going to do a separate video how to clean the wood how to give it a shine you know that's a different subject now this one here you could either run on the running water and then what you do is you insert the cleaner in here um, now this is very tight um, the end of the, the stem is very tight so it won't go all the way um, most of my pipes uh, do go all the way but this is a very tight one so you just clean as best as you can uh, and you can see the dirt that comes out um, but I, what I do is I, running on, I run it on the uh, tap so everything gets proper clean and then I put one of these in just to dry it yeah so um, this and then you just leave it um, now if you've got one pipe so I suggest you leave this now for a few hours just to properly dry out and then you can smoke again unless you take a Meerschaum uh, pipe that, that is made out of material that is uh, in Turkey comes from the sea absorbs moisture and then it uh, releases it you don't need to wait between the smokes but briar is wood and you do so best to leave it a bit to cool down and dry out properly and um yeah i forgot putting the filter and um that's it but if i recommend to have two pipes we're going to talk about that on top to have two pipes one to use while the other is resting um i think that's the best way to do it now um before i forget you've got here the ash now if you've got a pipe with a silver band this is sterling silver this is a peterson um irish hop uh, i will review this pipe much later stage and i'm going to try it some blends with this a very very nice pipe um yeah so you want to clean this there is two methods and i'll show you how to clean it when i record a the proper how to clean a pipe fully from top to bottom but there is a one trick that you take the ash. i don't want to do it because this is now clean where you take the ashes and you rub it on the silver um, ring. You know what? Let me try it now. Why not? So you take the ash and let me let me just take off the the stem. You take the ash and you rub it on the silver like that. It's a trick someone gave me. I didn't know uh, yeah and this will clean my silver is not so dirty so it's a bit of a shame you can't see the immediate result uh, but this would apparently give the silver um, the original shine and take off all the, the patina whatever it's called a black um, layer on top of it yeah it's amazing but there is another method less smelly method <laughs> to use actual silver cleaner with uh, earbuds now i will show you one day on a video how i do it but i don't want to take too much time on this look at my fingers here now and um, then you take a um, dry piece of your rug and just uh, and just give it a good buffing and apparently this should come up um, brand new yeah well you wouldn't see much of a difference because um, it was clean to start off with yeah let me just give this a quick buff yeah what do you think looks 
very nice. I'm not sure is it because of the ash or because I cleaned it not long ago. But anyway, um, yeah, I do look after my pipes because they're meant to be there for many years to come. Um, these are expensive pipes and I don't want to have me to buy another one. Yeah, so this was another tip what to do with the ash. Okay, so let's go back on top and we'll finalize today's video. Right, so we've been through the various stages of smoking the pipe. So now this pipe is fully clean. I already ran water through the stem, the mouthpiece, and cleaned it. And this pipe is now fully cleaned and ready to smoke again. Um, it's, there's no moisture in there, and you can see the carbon cake is, I don't know if you can see it, uh, building up very nicely inside. I don't think you can see it because it's too dark in there. But uh, yeah. Now, um, in regards of your, f your pipe blend, what to smoke? Well, you know, there is so many blends and everyone has got different type of preference. Is it an English blend or is it a aromatic? Do you like cherry, vanilla? Do you like toppings? Do you like different fruity um, toppings to them? Um, do you like a um, light Virginia with a bit of a spicy Perique or do you like a full-on Latakia? You know, it is, there is Balkan blends, there is all sorts of blends. And with time, you're going to experiment. This is part of the joy of pipe smoking, to discover new blends and to see which one you like most. Now, in the beginning, um, it would not be like, wow, you know, you will enjoy the tobacco flavors in general, but you still won't be able to pinpoint those fine notes within that leaf. So, uh, yeah, but the, even the basic, the smoke of the, any of the blend that you chose would taste delicious if you smoke it slowly. I can't emphasize enough. If you smoke a pipe too fast, it would give you um, a bitterness in the smoke. It would not taste good. You need to take your time. And if you need to relight it, relight it. There's no problem at all to relight a pipe. Yeah, so you just smoke it slowly, sip it as if you are sipping wine. And retro inhale through your nostrils. You don't inhale it to your lungs, but through your nostrils, you'll taste even better because it has to go through uh, there's taste buds in, in, in the smell organ as well. Uh, and it's all part of it. So in your mouth, circling through your nose, and then you'll start tasting. It's as if you're tasting the smoke. You will taste the smoke. It is so enjoyable. After a while, you'll get it right. Now, for me, um, English blends uh, are the most I, I enjoy most, and I recommend that to any new pipe smoker. When you, if you are a cigarette smoker and you go to a pipe, wow, you will discover the true flavors of tobacco. If you're a cigar smoker, you will be quite familiar with the tobacco leaf. Uh, but in pipe, you've got blends, and that in cigars, you don't. In cigar, you've got the wrapper, the inner wrapper, the binder, different type of leaves grown in different climates, cured different way. And each cigar has got its own characteristics. But when it comes to pipe blends, you get, you get a few flavors combined. And many places, they do their own blends. We're going to talk about that. We're going to review all those. And we're going to go through it slowly. I can't talk about everything in one video. Yeah. So um, the Peterson Early Morning is highly recommended. Uh, I'm going to review this properly in a later stage. Um, the Charitan First Bowl is a very similar blend to this. They're both mild English mixtures, very mild English blends. And of course, a bit bolder, but in a similar family of 
these two is the one of my most favorites is my mixture 965 by Peterson and this is as well a um, balanced smoking tobacco with a cool flavor of brown Cavendish accompanied by light ori uh, oriental tobacco and, uh, and small attacker leaves uh, it's an English mixture yeah this is um, one of my most favorites um, those these blends I'm gonna review in full and uh, but those are I recommend to start off with yeah but it's down to you I mean you can choose the the build the characteristics of the tobacco according to what you like uh, what it sounds and in the end of the day try it by trying it you learn what you like without trying you'll never learn it it's another thing pipe tobacco is much cheaper than cigars nowadays and uh, also um, if you don't like it straight away put it in a mason jar if you open the tin and come back to it later in in a few months when your palate is accustomed already to other blends that you enjoy you might say oh wow this is actually quite good it's because by then you fine-tune your palate so never throw out any blend just put it in a mason jar put it away in a dark cool place and it's gonna last you for years um, if you want to try these I'm gonna might review these little bottles that I showed you um, in the first video um, when I was talking about the starter kit uh, I, might <coughs> I might review it um, when I go away uh, for a few days and all day, well, I'll take these with uh, and maybe I'll do that I'll review it then we'll see but on this channel will just come up uh, hopefully in some kind of order but it all depends the timing and what I finish first and the guys here to edit first so if you know me for my vaping channel you know how it works and the trend anyway so uh, <clears throat> I hope this video was useful I'm apologizing the extra length but it was a lot to talk about um, there's a lot more to talk about and uh, we'll touch every subject as we go along and eventually well we're all gonna be a lot more knowledgeable on how to smoke and enjoy one of the most relaxing uh, and enjoyable um, uh, hobbies or yeah hobbies rather um, yeah pipe smoking okay so until the video uh, next video take care enjoy your smoke and enjoy your pipe stay healthy bye bye for now